good morning everyone today i am going to uh, explain about uh, how to transport the changes from one client to another client okay I will, first i will brief about what is sap transport request and what say what is sap customization request what is work budget request So we'll have two requests in SAP. One is like a customization request. And second is a workbench request. What is customization request? This is handled by functional consultant. What is workbench request? This is technical consultant, handled by technical consultant. What we, uh, what exactly here we are doing? If any customization on existing functionality, if some changes to be done on plant or store locations or any uh, purchase requisition document type or PO document type or GR document type or in number ranges or any material type to be customized, all will be taken care by functional consultant. Once you do the changes in a SPR screen, then there is a CR will come into picture. Customization request number will come into picture. Okay. If it is a technical changes or any code changes enhancement uh, that has to be done through a, a workbench, right? So that will be handled through a technical consultant. Then there will be a technical workbench request will be generated in the system. Okay. Now I'll talk about transport request. Okay, uh, just you imagine now, we have different client to handle uh, customization request. We will take it as a 300 is for functional changes. Okay, CR we are generating here, customization request and 400 is for technical workbench, I can say. Right, so now these are the client where we are doing the changes development. Now next client is called 500, where we have to do unit, unit testing. I'm just giving example, okay, an example, and all the client will not have this kind of scenarios or our systems, just I'm giving some scenario where, how we are managing this kind of client in a development side. So now to test all this functionality which have changed, which, which have done changes, right? Then this to be transported from here to here, here to here. Once both are uh, reached to this client, right? So uh, as a functional consultant will uh, handle the testing for functional changes, ha whatever happened, and technical uh, consultant will take the charge of uh, technical unit testing. That is called TUT, technical unit testing, and FUT, functional unit testing. Like that, uh, testing will be done in the uh, in the development uh, system. So now I am going to explain how we are going to transfer the data from one client to another client. The transaction code, called co transaction co uh, code called, ticker called SCC1. Okay. So let me share my SAP screen only. How I can. Uh, show you like T code and what all the data to be passed to get the data copied from other client and all. And I will show it, show it demo. Okay. So I, I will run transition code SCC1. Before that, I will show you how to check uh, CR created already, customization request uh, generated in 800 clients. Example, I will log in again. So in a, in a practice system, we'll have a client called 800, right? We'll not have multiple client. This is a one client, 800. Uh, but in the standard, uh, we'll uh, copy from other client to, uh, means we can convert from 
we can move from uh, 300 or 400 client to 500 client where we are going to test it right as i explained before this in the previous uh, in the slide or in the uh, discussion we have done here right so now let me log in here and show some transition code which will give more clarity about uh, how this cr will be created okay i'll go to sc10 transaction sc10 transaction example user this user has performed multiple actions okay i want to see only customization request because this user is totally functional consultant okay then i will unselect this workbench request only i will execute this then i am able to see uh, uh, this cr number here okay this is a main uh, cr number you can see here eh7k900589 in 800 okay user shiv project he has put one project details here then later each main will have uh, cr will have subtask okay 590 is the task where major customization has done already here you can see many customization has done in the system now i want to see like uh, he has maintained the store location okay how he has maintained i can see here we have customer uh, cluster, cluster maintenance data under this table t001l the data is get, get got stored okay this is a, st uh, a structure and this is a table and here you can see 800 client uh, ga01 gal1 ga01 is the plant okay this is a plant and this is the location plant location plant location this combination you can see and if it is zero ga02 then again you can see this combination and if it is sc01 then again this combination so here you can see three plants configured already and uh, respective locations are so locations are linked okay this can be viewed in t001l table okay now apart from all this how you, we can transport this to other client okay so this is source is like 800 now if i have another system called 900 then i can transport the transport this uh, data to another system to test it and they are again not required to create all the customization uh, from the scratch okay. scc1 is a transition code where i can put 800 right so this is a source client and here i should put a transport request okay uh, that is not like a customization request we have to generate some transport request before uh, moving the data from one client to another client example if i copy this uh, okay, i want to copy from source triple zero to 800 then i can do first here test run i can check whether it, it is going to work out okay it is showing program ran successfully it will work if i remove this checkbox and start immediately right so it is asking whether are you going to copy from triple zero to 800 because we logged into 800 client so data from other system to here we are going to copy example as i explained if you want to transport sorry okay i closed that session that's okay so example if i want to transport from 300 client to 400 client or maybe 500 client okay so i should log in here Okay, then I have to enter source client will be 300 in the screen. In this screen, I should mention which is the source client. Okay, 300 I can put source client, then it will ask, system will ask whether copy data from this to this. I don't want to do this changes in the system because it may impact on this particular client. Okay, that's the reason I'm not going to give S on this. So in real time, the SEC one T code will be used to transfer the uh, data between the system. Example, all like 300, 400, and 500 are all are like uh, development system only. This is like customization, this is technical, and this is for unit testing. Next, next example, I want to move quality system, data from quality system, from development to quality. Same way you can import from development server 500 to this you can do because testing already done here so you can import the changes to quality 
through SSC one, and majorly uh, in uh, real time, uh, the TR will be uh, moved from uh, quality of pre-production to production on uh, weekly basis or monthly basis through a bundle. There will be a bundle used to move the changes to production, and this is taken care by the basis team or maybe the operations team who will take all the details and they will transport the changes to production. I hope this is clear for you uh, about the concept. So any uh, concerns or queries are there, then you just comment in, in comment section. Thank you.